Even though Godot is outstanding, I don't use it for my own games. There are 4 reasons behind these facts that I'm happy I will share with you today. My idea isn't for you to put you off, but to inform you a little bit more based in my experience. Now, let's start. Reason 1. Lack of tutorials and information in general. Even though the amount of information in general about Godot in the last years has been increasing a lot, currently when you face some kind of issue when you want to add something and you actually start researching a little bit, you may not find um, a huge amount of resources and materials out there that can help you work this out. Of course, as developers, we don't we don't have to always rely completely on uh, other sources in order to complete our game or in order to add anything. But always having a strong base of tutorials and information out there can really help also beginner and of course more intermediate and advanced developers. If you are an intermediate or more advanced developer, you had uh, de depended on tutorials before so they are key and if you are a beginner let's say that you 100% rely on tutorials and in information in general in order to learn game development so in Godot the amount of tutorials is quite limited and it is completely understandable because it is quite a new engine so there haven't been so much time since it was officially released and therefore the amount of tutorials may be uh, not super vast you can still find lots of useful information both in the documentation, in the forums, or even in some other YouTube channels. But well, the fact that all the time that I wanted to sort some mechanic out, that I wanted to add something, well, every time I was with a barrier that I couldn't find the information that I wanted. 2. New Engine Basically, Godot has been existing for something like 2-3 years. Not only does this affect the amount of information that is available on the internet, but it also affects the engine itself. Not having a long journey means that all the mechanics implemented in the engine don't have a long journey as well. So basically maybe they aren't as polished as well, or maybe the engine lacks some features that other engines do have. So, right now, in this precise moment, if you want to use Godot and maybe add some specific feature or you would like to use some specific feature and either you don't find it or you find that it is not actually as polished as it could be or as it is in other engines, also it is a reason why you may not use Godot. Here, in my experience, it's quite difficult to actually give you an exact example of this and it is, and it is actually something that you would, you would only encounter when you actually start coding and using Godot and uh, you would only encounter these situations when you are doing something specific or when you are actually looking for some specific function or method that maybe in other engine literally it is calling a built-in function that is given by default by the engine but in Godot, Godot doesn't provide that built-in method so you actually have to code that method yourself which not only does it take more time but more effort and, pro and you are more willing to make it wrongly so overall the fact that uh, Godot is quite new not only does it affect the amount of tutorials that there is on the internet, but also the existing features that maybe aren't polished or maybe they don't exist at all. Again, understandable, this situation may change in the future, but we have to choose a tool to game develop right now. 3. Lack of jobs As game developers, there are different uh, approaches that we can take in order to actually um, survive as a game developer uh, economically okay you can either work in uh, a formal company you can go for it as an indie game developer so if you actually want to work in the formal uh, section of uh, game development basically in an established studio in an established company etc basically none of this work with without as the industry standard is unity um, probably studios either use Unity or Unreal or basically any other engine, but not Godot because these are their engines have been existing for decades, unlike Godot that only existed for like the past two or three years. 
so if you are dreaming of actually working in some kind of studio or even in a in an established company without won't be the best option for you i don't say this okay you can literally look in google for a uh, unity game development position or some something similar and you can also compare this to growth and you will find that the amount of jobs available it is much much uh, fewer if you want to go as an indie developer of course the exact engine that, that you use doesn't really matter but do you actually want to be an indie game developer do you actually think that you are going to be able to survive as an indie game developer I think that there are too many things to consider as an indie game developer and I personally prefer much more to work on an established company um, or at least to combine both okay but in order to combine both you will still be dependent on some kind of company or studio and that studio or company will still use an engine different from the good old engine for open source Remember that the without engine is open source. This means that there is no owner behind, there is no company behind, and actually the source code of it is available for free out there on the internet. So everyone can actually modify it, sell that the, as their own product, etc. So basically there are no restrictions. And of course, with this, this also comes the fact that there are no licenses, that if your game makes millions and millions of dollars, nobody will ask you to pay money for without. But on the other hand, there is also like a dark side of it that not a lot of people is actually talking about this. There are lots of things that also um, have a positive impact on any software that is open source. So uh, I will just explain them a little bit like here in the air, but then um, actually a complete full video about open source could be made, okay? But in general, the main thing about open source of course, it is amazing that it's not owned by a company in the fact that you will never have to pay for any kind of license. But at the same time, the fact that there is no company behind, it means that there are no developers or or at least the amount of developers how they are programming the updates, programming the new features are quite limited. So this, of course, lowers the overall quality of the engine. Whereas in a piece of software that isn't open source, that is owned by a company, if there is a company, probably there are much more resources, economically talking, to hire more people in order to actually make the engine better. And also there is a huge limitation when it comes to porting to consoles. As Godot is open source, you can't directly port to consoles. It is quite a large topic again, quite difficult to explain in a video that isn't completely related to this. But in short, Godot will never officially support building to consoles. Basically because of this open source nature that wouldn't allow without to use the consoles SDKs, without wouldn't allow uh, officially to sign known disclo disclosure agreements needed in order to port for consoles. So basically without is trying to provide third party services but of course this costs tons of money and at the same time makes the process more and more difficult. Whereas in other engines, this, this port to console is of course quite um, difficult because you still have to sign these kind of agreements, you still have to go through lots of processes, but well, at least the engine itself officially supports consoles, okay? And like you know that you have to uh, completely depend on some kind of third party of company. In conclusion, as I said in the introduction, I don't want to put you off from using the without engine. It is still an amazing piece of software that you can use in order to create your game just as well it has these things that can actually uh, stop you from using the engine and of course there are more and more reasons why you may not want to use without and there are more and more reasons why you may use without so it is a decision that is quite personal that quite uh, it, uh, depends on your own needs so it is not a decision that only comes to a youtube video that you have watched of something like 10 minutes long but well, I hope that at least from my experience, I was able to provide some helpful advice when it comes to continue using Godot or start using Godot to choosing uh, other engine or to switching to other engine, okay? So if any of these aims was achieved, please like, subscribe and comment for more similar videos. I will see you in the next one and bye bye.